Taylor Kinney, I play Lieutenant Kelly Severide on Chicago Fire. Favorite moment or scene? I remember when we first started the beginning of season three and uh, just a, a physical uh, uh, one day that we were all outside, we were all together when uh, Cruz was driving and the truck crashed into Welch's uh, truck company. And it, just that day and everyone together, it was hot and and uh, it just, there was a bunch of tension there. And I just, that, I just, that day really sticks out. It was really long and we had a great time filming it. And then just what they did in post with it, I remember watching it uh, because we didn't, I didn't get to see the actual crash itself. Like we showed up on set that day and, and the, both vehicles were in, the, in their perspective positions. And so we didn't get to see it. And once I saw it cut together, it just made it that much more special. I think it turned out really, really great. I guess the, the big storyline, one of the big changes was the death of Shay. So it was, it was his roommate for a lot of years, his best friend, confidant, and, and, uh, and coworker. So dealing with that, and then I don't think you, you never get over something like a, a death of a loved one or a close friend. I think you learn to live with it more so than get past it. So there's still pieces there, but I think the big thing with, with Severide right now in this season is trying to move past, uh, you know, past grieves. I don't know in terms of resolve. I, I know there's, you know, the, the tension between Casey and Severide, myself and Jesse Spencer's character. That's kind of an ever uh, evolving storyline. And I think one of the big things is Monica Raymond and and uh, Casey's character and the the uh, the potential for a pregnancy and new member on our team, um, and that's kind of a big storyline of what we pick up with in season four, uh, following their relationship and what comes to what comes to be regarding a, a potential pregnancy for someone working as a as a firefighter. The cast and crew. Uh, it's been four years and I, I still have these, they're like pinch me moments where you're just, I remember when we, in 2012, I think it was March 2012 when we did the pilot, we came back and I remember walking down Michigan Avenue. I, I live fairly close and as an actor, I've been working since 2005 or six and this is the longest time I've ever been a part of anything. It's just not very common and so... I think in your heart of hearts and you want, you'd like to be a part of something successful, but it's just, it's just really rare. And I remember walking down the street and thinking, good gosh, I could be here for years. And it was a bit daunting. Um, and I'm, it's like four years later and, and I, it's, it came true. So it's one of those, uh, it's just really special. I feel really, really grateful and humbled to be a part of it. And, and again, such a great cast, such a great crew. Everybody enjoys coming here. No one considers it work, except maybe in winter <laughs> when it's 20 below. But it really is. We, we lucked out and we, we kind of struck gold. And I think that's, you know, thanks to Dick Wolf as well. I'm not, you know, I'm not in the writer's rooms, but they always keep it interesting. And uh, Brian White is an actor. He's, he stepped in and he fills a, 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 a pretty uh, significant role in the house. And just... Uh, on and off camera, that guy, you know, hats off. He's a, he's a great person, great actor, and look forward to telling stories with him. And Stephen McQueen, I worked with him on Vampire Diaries a number of years ago, uh, maybe like five years ago now. And uh, so getting to see him evolve as an actor, and and uh, and he was a great, great kid then. He's he's great now. So I look forward to, to seeing what he brings to the table as well. So it's it's welcome, you know, new blood, fresh blood. Well, I touched on it earlier. Uh, Rice, my good friend who I vouched for, I, I found out that he was lying and, you know, it, the, it kind of, it served as the catalyst for where he is now, which was not working here. I had to fire him. And I think that it was the right thing to do, but I had stuck up for him so long in the process of, of him proving his mettle that when it turns out that he's wrong, I, I just looked. I look bad, and I think, you know, Bo Nick see, sees it, the other guys see it, Casey's able to point a finger, 
you know, I we, there was a huge divide with Otis, Cruz, all the all the guys on truck because I'm going to stand up for my guys, you know, until they prove that they're wrong. And when they did, it's kind of I think that tension will still exist where there's a bit of I told you so and uh and me just being stubborn as a lieutenant on squad and excuse me and taking <clears throat> taking my guys further word